This is Michelle Knight and this is the astrological update for Sagittarius for the week starting the 18th of March. And what a fabulous and interesting week. The energy in the universe is shifting this week. And for all of us, our energy, our focus and our soul growth is pointing in a new direction. And for you, it's very good news indeed, because your lesson, as soon as the sun goes into that position for you on the 20th, is all about you really enjoying your child within, being playful, being open, possibly be meeting a soulmate, having a love affair, doing all the things that are joyful to your spirit. You can't say better than that, can you? Well, this is going to hit an extreme. And with any extremes comes challenge because you will have the overwhelming desire as the week goes on to be playful, to forget about responsibility, to have a good time, to take the day off work, to make love or go on to a museum or do something exciting and scintillating with somebody that you desire. There's all sorts of temptation in the air and that's because Venus is not only going into that sign, but there's a stellium of Sun, Uranus, the planet of unpredictable, as well as Venus. So there's a part of you going, oh, I just want to have a good time, and it feels great, but obviously you have to find the balance with your responsibilities. And that's your challenge, really, because, you know, you're not going to want to. You just want to feel and, and be joyful. So try and find the balance there, but please make sure you do have a good time and you surrender a little bit to love, and happiness and playfulness. We shouldn't be too hard for a Sagittarian. We end the week with Venus, Mars, Uranus and the Sun all conjunct in that energy for you. But fortunately it's sextiling Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, connects to your relationship. So basically, you know, if you're looking for love, you're in a relationship, you want to sort it out, this is the week to do it. If you're in a relationship where there is no fun and you're not allowed to, to express your childlike joy, you'd be very tempted to confront that unhappiness and leave or decide what to do with that relationship, perhaps seek couple counselling, whatever. But you certainly will find it impossible to put up with somebody who's a bit bar humbug this week. And also that's trining the moon, which is making you feel much more adventurous and open to seeing things emotionally on a different level. Anyway, sounds fabulous. Let me know what happens. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.